Miller Heat 3. And in this episode of our season with Matt Crafton's number 88 Menards Ford, we are going to be completing race 19 of 23, which is also the final race of the round of 8 in the playoffs at Talladega Super Speedway for the Talladega 250. I actually went to this track earlier this year in the spring for the Geico 500, where my current favorite NASCAR driver, Joey Logano, won. And little did I know that he'd be winning the championship like five or six months later. Granted, it's not my preferred points championship format, but he won the championship that existed due to consistency in the playoffs. And that's looking to be something that I'll do in the playoffs right here in this truck series season because I did quite well in the regular season, but in the past couple of races, I've won both of them. I've been up front all race long. We're going to Talladega Super Speedway, and this is a track where I should be capable of finishing the top five. I don't know about winning because it's hard to pass a leader at these tracks, but yeah, we're really proving that we're a good contender for the championship now. Brett Moffitt behind us by five points. Johnny Sauter and John Hunter Nemechek are tied for third place right now. Uh, I think John Hunter Nemechek has more playoff points, though, so that's what it should say. There's no playoff standings menu in here, which is just stupid. I don't know why they took out all the menus from NASCAR E2 that you need for all the information. But Grant Enfinger, uh, I think he just needs to stay finishing well in this last race of the playoffs. And if he can get a win or just get some playoff points, win a race, who knows, in just the next few races, he can make the Final Four. I really want to see it happen, but right now... He's just right outside of that little cut line between 4th and 5th, I guess. He's got more points than the other guys behind him, but yeah, that's about it. So, let's head to Talladega. I am not wearing a shirt because it's really freaking hot in here after recording the Las Vegas race. And, you know, it's Talladega, Alabama, um, shirtlessness, uh, roll tide, whatever. Let's get over there, do qualifying. Here we come off turn 4 and qualifying. They gave us two laps, I don't know why, but the first lap was a 53.47. And by the way, I am using a custom setup. It's really just my tire pressures being adjusted, nothing else than that. Or on like default two and then the tire pressure is adjusted. Still, I'm starting 25th place, so obviously it doesn't mean that much. I don't know what kind of custom setups for this track in the truck series they would use to be able to start like in the top 10 and whatever, but we are at 105% difficulty, so they gotta make it challenging somehow. I would like to see where Grant Infinger is starting because I really want to see him make it to the next round and get to the final four. Uh, hey, starting on the front row, second place. All right, then. They're getting lap times that you can't get unless you're in the fucking draft. Who are they drafting? <laughs> are they drafting a bird flying down the backstretch? <laughs> I don't freaking know. Oh, my goodness. Well, at least we got the inside, so that's reassuring a little bit. But, yeah, just proof right here. Let me go to chain setup, custom race setup. So it's, it's set up, too, pretty much. That's what the full is set on. Went over here and I turned all my tire pressures to 50. So we'll maintain speed better. I think that uh, gets me like 0.5 seconds faster um, on my own. I don't know what it really can do for me in the pack just because we're all bunched together. So maybe I'll get better runs. But it could be easier to take the lead. I might be able to win this race. Who knows? Okay, let's get out of here. Don't back out of everything. Start race. I'm about to press the O button twice. I'm like, no, that'll, that'll quit it all. Okay, Talladega 250. What a boring fucking logo. Travis Quapple didn't have a good practice session. Me neither. My practice session was so bad I didn't even get a lap in. <laughs> I've already made that joke, like, way back in the freaking Dirt series. But, I don't know, I think it's funny. Because <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. I think everything's funny. Okay. Got my backwards hat on. Gonna go full-on redneck. Quote me on that one. Shirtlessness, roll tide. Because, I don't think that's a thing, but, I don't know, just put two and two together. I needed some reason to just not wear a shirt aside from the fact that it's really hot in here. Because I don't want you guys to know that it's hot in here because then you'll start feeling hot while watching the video. And I don't want my fans to feel hot. Only I should be hot. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> the shit I say. Like, I turned that into, like, temperature-wise, then I turned it into something like attractiveness. Okay, it's someone on the outside dying. No, that's not Corbin Forster. 83. I don't know who drives 83, but I'm not paying attention to the inside lane. I'm almost driving onto the apron. Don't hit that, that phantom thing where you, like, you drive onto the apron going to a corner or off the corner, and then the freaking thing shoots off the freaking track into the wall. Okay. So, I started 25th. We're in 20th. Only got two laps in the first stage. Uh, if this is a race where we can make it on fuel just by pitting on after the first stage, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Because there's no way we're getting stage points in this one. Or we probably not get stage points in the second one just because it's so hard to move my way through the field and the stages are so short. So I think what I'm going to do is pit after this stage if they take their pit stops in the second stage. Or after the second stage is what I'm trying to say. As long as we can make it on field to the end. 
because that could be an advantage. We could be able to get up front just like that, just by having started badly. I swear we started pretty good at Daytona, so I don't know what happened here at Talladega. I wasn't even using this whole tire pressure setup thing at Daytona. I swear he started decently. Though maybe I have bad memory, but that was like the worst qualifying we've had all season, wasn't it? I don't remember a time we've actually qualified worse. We are passing so many people right now. Just getting such big runs. I don't remember it being this easy at Daytona at Super Speedway Racing as far as I'm concerned. Okay, 15th. So, didn't want to pass anybody else because we're not getting stage points or anything. We just want to be on the inside the next restart. Ugh. I mean, it depends on like what's happening as far as pit strategy. And we got 11 laps remaining and 8 laps on fuel. So, we just use up 2. So, that means it maxes out at 10, doesn't it? Uh, Justin Haley won the first stage. Grant Infinger lost like fucking 6, 7 positions. Golly, you mean you get your freaking head in the game, man. Okay, let me see. Yeah, it maxes out at 10, but we might skip a lap during the stages, so might be a good idea. Okay, I'll just, like, one can make sure I can fill up as much as possible. We'll get four tires, since no one's probably even pitting, aside from us. So, let's just, you know, refresh your tires a little bit. Try to make it to the end of the race. Uh, 26. Okay, Tanner Thorson, Anthony Alfredo, Dalton Sarter, Travis Quapple, and some other loser in last place decided to pit with me. Well, you're not a loser anymore. You're going to be in the top five in just a few minutes. Okay, well, that's surprising. I didn't think that anybody was going to be pitting, because I just saw, like, no one. Okay, then. Who that is. I, it, they, they ain't don't matter. Okay, so we're at the bottom. Two laps again for the second stage. Yeah, as expected, there's no way we've been able to get to the top ten in that second stage if I had pitted, I don't think, just because, you know, we weren't, we are passing people rather quickly, but just so bunched together, so I don't know, it probably would have been a better idea anyways, I don't really need stage points because we're in the playoffs, I want to see if I can get a win, give me some playoff points, alright, so, at the bottom, ain't got anywhere to go, it really doesn't matter if I pass anyone right now, I'm just trying to make sure I finish in, in this stage in front of everybody else that pitted, because, you know, all these other guys in front of us have to pit too. Myatt Snyder, I raced as you in 2017 on NASCAR 2 and you are sucking ass right now, I just proved. Oh, gotta run on Wendell Chavos. Wendell Chavis, you're not giving me room. I don't know, we like to, we need to like Frenchanize his name. Frenchanize. Um, I'm trying to come up with a verb for like Frenching, or I guess that would be what I would call it. Like transform his name into something French. Wendell Chavos. But he's not giving me the room to make this pass. I can't go anywhere. Like, I feel like this would happen if I had not taken my pits off for the first stage. I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Like, there's... I can't make a third lane without getting knocked off the track. I'm just riding his bumper. I can feel my controller just vibrating non-stop. Can I push him out of this bottom lane? No. Come on. There we go. I kept on trying to do that. It just wouldn't happen. And now it's not letting me underneath him. I don't have enough of a run. And... Fucking tire pressure ain't doing shit for me. I don't understand why. Like, these AI, they don't really use custom setups, but they do overperform for what they're given at some tracks. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really get anywhere in the stage. I really feel like that was going to happen whenever um, we went into the stage if I did take my pit stop. So, okay, so all these people are pitting. We got Tanner Thorson, Anthony Alfredo, Mike Harmon. Oh, these are people that I, I passed and after the drop of the green flag. So, of course, people that pitted with us are passing them too. It's all scattered. Chase Purdy's not pitting. I guess that was the guy that um, didn't pit a while ago. We couldn't see him. So, I guess that means... Yeah, we're all we up front now. Tanner Thorson, Anthony Alfredo, Travis Quapple, Dalton Sargent, Chase Purdy. It, first to sixth. Oh, my goodness. So, can I win this race? we got seven laps. Please tell me Grant Infinger is somewhere up here. Make his way up front and, you know, finish well. Not get knocked out of the freaking playoffs. I don't know if I would have caused it by putting us up here, but God, we got a really good restart right here. My acceleration is not supposed to be that good because I have the tire pressures, but uh, this game's just being stupid at this point. But I swear, I'm going to be doing some crazy-ass blocking in a little bit. And if they get past me, it ain't going to be easy to get the lead back, even though we have these tire pressures, because apparently they don't mean anything. No, no, darn it. Man, I can't block the third lane, man. Don't, don't touch me, eight truck. That's Chase Purdy. I mean, I've done forgotten who the hell Chase Purdy is, I guess. Here comes Todd Gillen. Okay, what the hell is going on? How have I lost this much momentum just by people passing on the outside? Like, whenever I do that to someone, that doesn't happen, but golly. Okay, now that we're getting momentum back, starting to shoot back past one of these people. I don't know about getting back to the lead. If we can't get back to the lead, this is actual super speed racing that's actually good for the first time in ages. 
offline in the master video game. And I am riding Todd Gillen like there's no tomorrow. But I want to pass him. I don't know how to do that. Run on the bottom. Get him out of the way. <laughs> I didn't exactly go below the L line that much. Kept on the track, so I don't think it'd be that problematic. And it's legal in the YouTube Pro Series, but this isn't the YouTube Pro Series, isn't it? Okay, we got back to second place. Where the hell is Grant Finger? Is he coming up behind us? I see a yellow truck. I, I'm getting on the apron. I'm not paying attention to the track. I'm kind of looking in the mirror to see stuff. Okay, how the hell would I do that to the leader, though? Because I'm not going to have someone to pull me down the, like the straightaway once I get underneath Chase Birdie. And then also, Todd Gillen's getting around on the outside. That's that's very discouraging. What we got? Three laps to go now? Uh, yes, three laps to go. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Chase Birdie, he's just kind of driving all over the place like it don't matter. I guess it really doesn't. Come on. Just go up the track into this corner, please. There you go. Don't give up the bottom. Or give up the bottom is what I'm trying to say. Uh, low on field, but it really doesn't matter. Is he letting me go? Wait a second. Wait. No. No. Come on. Push me, Todd Gillen. Why do you guys push me? Justin Haley, push me. Why are they halt? Why the fuck do they halt? This is your chance to get one more position. I'm not giving you mine, but you can get second place if you push me past Chase Purdy. But y'all decide to halt. Y'all don't give me the bumper, you fucking lunatics. I now have no one pulling me on the bottom because Chase Purdy's blocking the top, so I... Damn it. I'm going to lose second place because I have nothing to pull me. I can't side draft either. Nothing is working. What the fuck, you defunct video game? I'm losing everything. What the hell? Ugh. Okay, we got third place. Nothing's working. The draft is, it's not doing anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Justin Haley won, I think, the first stage because he did start on pole. Johnny Sauter, I guess, won the second one, but he finished badly just because of the, the pit strategy thing, and I guess he was falling back and might have started on the outside in that final restart. But Chase Purdy wins. <laughs> That's, I guess, he, he, he did it for Dale. Oh, um, I stopped Todd Gillen from making it to the next round by not letting him win the race. Okay, and because I didn't do that, Grant Infinger makes it to the next round. If Todd Gillen had won, Grant Infinger would be in seventh place instead. Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize that shit was going down. Next weekend, we're going to Martinsville Speedway for the Texas Roadhouse 200, presented by Alpha Energy Solutions. Uh, Martinsville is not in Texas, it is in Virginia, so they should, like, have a Virginia Roadhouse, a mom roadhouse. My mom's name is Virginia. I don't know, I'm, I'm not being reasonable. I'm never reasonable. John Ernemichek is in front of me by one point on the point settings because he has one more playoff point, so it's every new round, that's how it resets. They just gave another 1,000 points to the top six. Todd Gillen, Noah Gragson, they didn't make it in. But Grant Infinger, he's in front of Stuart Freeze now because he has two more playoff points than him. I guess it was from uh, stage wins and stuff like that. But let's get out of here. And uh, Martinsville. Well, we also have Texas after that. Last time we went to Texas, I almost won. I, I think I deserve to have the, the trophy, the victory, counted as part of my season, my fifth win. But nope, that, that's, that's not what happened. If that happens in the playoffs, I am going to take the cover of this game, and I'm going to rip it into like 16 pieces, and then burn it on video. I told myself I'd be doing that in my head as soon as that happened, if it happened again. So just have that on video, let you guys know what the facts are. See you next time, that's that, and episode over.